Since communication is all about rapport building, we have to be able to mirror and match another person's preferred learning and thinking style. By observing words that people use and how they move their eyes, we can understand their strategy. People move their eyes in a certain way when they think. It is true that you can tell the way people are constructing their thoughts by observing their eye movement. The basic rule of eye movement patterns works this way. The direction when looking up, meaning they're visualising something. Direction when looking horizontally to left and right, meaning remembering or constructing sounds. Direction when they're looking down, the meaning accessing feelings. So the direction looking down to the right, it means that they're talking to self. Now, when it comes to visual recall, this is when you are recalling images from the past, when you're drawing them from your memory. These are things that you have seen before. Questions to ask is, what did your curtains look like when you were a teenager? What does your car look like? What was your nanny's name? So these are all things that they're going to recall and they're going to answer quite truthfully. The visual construct, this happens when you're visualising something you have never seen before. These are images you're making up in your head. Sometimes you can use this one to see if the people are lying to you. Now a great question to ask is what would your car look like if it had a soft top? What would your house look like if it were painted red? What would you look like if you lost three stone in weight? The auditorio Recall, this is when you remember sounds or voices that you've heard before or things that you have said to yourself before. These sounds are stored in your memory bank and you're actually extracting it from its location. This ability that helps you recognise a voice over the phone even before the person says his or her name. Now questions to ask could be, can you remember the sound of your grandfather's voice? What was the last thing I said? It's a very good one. Now when it comes to auditorio construct, this is when you're making up sounds that you have never heard before. And the questions to ask would be, what would the national anthem sound like if it were played on the flute? What would I sound like if I were fluent in Spanish? And then we come to the kinesthetic. This involves accessing your feelings and questions to ask for this area would be What does it feel like to touch this sandpaper? What does it feel like to be so popular? And then we come to the internal auditorio. This is where your eyes go when you're having internal dialogue and you're talking to yourself. Questions to ask here would be Will you be able to get through this interview without getting nervous? Can you recite the three lions to yourself? However, don't always look for strategies in people's eyes. In order to communicate effectively, we need to study action signals put forward by people and then modify our behaviour, physiology and words so that they can easily relate to us. After all, that is what effective communication is about, right?